I recently conducted a physical survey on SHIP-2, and the results were interesting. It all started with this bumped post. An innocent post about portable 2 infinity weapon designs, but with a surprising piece of unrelated trivia at the very end. A survey of chest sizes back in PSU. That sounds quite fun. You know, it's a real shame nobody has ever done the same concept in PSO2 before. This survey will only cover ship 2, my home ship. This is going to be a general physical survey, so, I'll record alongside chest sizes things like height and fashion theme, alongside some non-physical attributes such as main classes and levels. To gather the data, I explored the lobby of every single block on a specific day in quick succession, recording and trying to measure up to as many people as possible. Then I had to painfully watch each recording, judge the asset sizes, and add the results to the spreadsheet. And let me tell you, judging assets without the sliders is tougher than you'd think. And when it isn't strange, unreadable poses, it'll be questionable fashion choices that somehow alter and obscure the data. So, with the survey results in, let me guide you through the interesting findings. Let's start with some general demographics. While people like to joke that there are only girls on PSO2, there's still a decent number of males on SHIP2. Of course, if we then start comparing SHIP2 to other countries, we get quite a different outlook on this ratio. Something to note, however. While this trend is nearly one-to-one -one for humanoids, Casts pretty much have a 50-50 split of males and females. However, casts are just a small minority of the overall population. Despite the inaccuracy of judging fashion, let's quickly touch on it. The overwhelming majority of players use NGS outfits. This is most likely due to new scratches being NGS fashion only, for the most part. The latest scratch at that time was, uh, Galactic Divinity, so I was expecting it to affect the results. Then again, despite the release of a Space Nun scratch, many still stuck to their urban outfits, which is easily the most dominant fashion for both genders. Extremely lewd outfits or bikinis are, shockingly, not the dominant fashion choice for women. Females are also the only ones to have furries amongst them. Not much to note for males, other than the bikini being a stand-in for an exposed chest, and dress being a stand-in for a nice suit. In terms of height, females are exceedingly short, while males tend to be on the tall side. Okay, enough of this boring stuff. We want to know the big numbers. So then, ladies and gentlemen, I will now offer you, my dear viewers, the physical results you've all been waiting for. Uh, wow. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. Do you remember that PSU chart I showed earlier? Alright, technically there's a cultural difference here, since the previous chart was PSU Japan, while our survey concerns SHIP2 Global. We also conducted this survey by site alone on only about 500 players, while the JP survey has accurate access to an entire database from all the servers they had. But ignoring all those factors, there are less flat chests outside of Japan, less exaggerated chest sizes but trending to the larger sizes. For this survey, all ballooned users were considered max, and removing them doesn't affect the numbers too much. If I did the survey two weeks later, we'd be telling another story. If you're curious, I tried ranking male chests, but due to the subtle nature of such, this is more of a big and wide torso chart. The larger the frame, the better. Maybe it's a good time to segue into class-specific charts. Such as the usage of ballooned bosom per class. Oh. Forces are the dominant ones. Or maybe let's talk about the classes who use bikinis. Oh. Forces dominate again. Turns out females have a large number of forces, followed closely by the braver class. When you investigate the male classes, bravers become dominant, with a very surprising number of hunters. There's still quite a bit of forces, however. But in general, forces are the most popular class, followed closely by braver. I'm surprised by the lack of bouncers, as they're dead last in popularity. Hunters are easily the most gender-balanced class. Yes, no class has a male majority, but what did you expect? 
Fighters are the second best gender balance-wise, and have a surprising amount of female casts. The majority of Ranger casts are male, but surprisingly there's a perfect gender balance for cast gunners. Forces have the highest gender imbalance, while Tectors have the most amount of people dressed up in costumes or suits. Also, male cast Tectors don't exist. There are no costume folk or weird character creation abominations amongst the Bravers, and Bouncers also lack male casts. On a stranger note, level 60 Hunters are the least common thing out there, dominated by the new players. Every other class has a, sometimes crushing, majority of level 60s. Except Bouncer, but even then, there's still more level 60s than pure newbies. There's some cute little fashion trends, such as male hunters having a lot of people still wearing starting outfits and how female bouncers overwhelmingly use dresses, but otherwise it's still urban focused. So we'll move on to more interesting class differences. Female hunters seem to be relatively balanced with a bit of shortness, but their male counterparts have no short people and are generally tall. Female fighters are quite tall in general, but there are a few shrimps amongst them, which is amplified amongst their male counterparts. Female rangers tend to be shorter but are still quite balanced, but male rangers are, uh, tall. Just tall. It's most likely due to their male cast population. Gunner girls are short, gunner boys are tall, 12 female forces are minimum height, and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah uh, yeah, ah. Uh. Maybe forces don't drink enough milk. All the shrimps are forces it seems. Okay, there are some tall guys, but I'm a bit concerned with the number of minimum heights. I'll just gloss over the rest of this height data. Uh, yeah. Let's finally end this with a chest size breakdown. Let's begin with female hunters. Uh, oh boy. That's a bit embarrassing. 40% of hunters are small or flat-chested, the worst ratio imaginable. Look, hunters, we can't be stuck at the bottom forever. See, ranger? They hold a rifle like a coward away from the battlefield, and they somehow have better defenses than you. The shrimps are packing more than you guys, what the fuck? Your fighter siblings, despite their lack of defenses, have more DPS and are packing large assets. Oh, yeah, 0% are flat. 0%. Even bravers aren't as bad as you are, and they're popular enough to get all the buffs. Don't talk about Gunner, their mascot is Boobs Incarnate. Oh, so you think you're more popular than Tector? Doesn't matter, they only have 24%, and we're at 40% hunters. Why can't you be like Bouncer? They are the most acrobatic class out there, and despite that, look. 68%. 60. Fucking. 8%. My fellow hunter waifus, I beg you. Make your boobs bigger, or at least make them average. So, uh, that's the video. I'll be honest, this video took way too long to make, mostly because I couldn't settle on the video presentation. It only took a week of watching the videos for an hour or two per day to gather this data, but the video itself went through several different iterations. Outside of the theming jumping from anime physicals hijinks to Linus tech tips, how to even present this info outside of dumping all the charts one after the other was not easy. So I took the easy way out. Not to mention this being the first time I've used an English text-to-speech program to voice my character. A voice that either is a bit irritating by default, can become a bit suggestive sounding, or sound absurdly very, very horny. If you want the spreadsheet data to do your own findings, it's on my website. Anyway, thank you for watching this video.